Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, the 3060 Ti launched, AMD is about to have a big release, next-gen mobile Ryzen was spotted, smart access memory is already here for Intel, and the 6900 XT is getting custom cards. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it looks like the leaks were right. As Nvidia officially announced the RTX 3060 Ti yesterday with the subsequent release today. And of course it sold out quickly, though hopefully a lot of you saw my YouTube community post with direct links to some of the cards. And of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things hardware releases. Anyway, the reviews dropped yesterday and the card is about what we expected. At stock, it typically gets performance right at the 2080 Super with AIB cards between the 2080 Super and 3070. When we look at overclocking though, it gets even better. Taking a peek at this 9 game average from Tom's Hardware, we can see that the 3060 Ti gets really close to the 3070 when overclocked. Obviously, the 3070 can overclock as well, but that's not bad, especially given it comes in at $399. Of course, that price is irrelevant given, as I said, they aren't currently in stock. Then again, for when they are, I will have affiliate links in the description below. Next up for today, AMD has officially announced that their CEO, Lisa Su, will be hosting a keynote at next year's CES. And while CES will be an online-only event, thanks to the thing that shall not be named, AMD will definitely be making some announcements. Specifically, there's quite a few potential things, like the rumored mid-ranged RX 6700 and 6700 XT, maybe Threadripper 5000, or even a tease at their upcoming AM5 socket. With that said, the one thing I'd bet AMD will be announcing is their Ryzen 5000 mobile APU lineup. And speaking of their next-gen mobile lineup, AMD's high-performance Ryzen 7 5800H was just spotted by Tom Apisak on Twitter. As you can see, the APU was found on Geekbench, and given we've already seen benchmarks on their ultra-low power lineup, AMD will likely announce both their high-performance and low-performance chips at CES. This one is the Zen 3 based Cezanne APU, and it comes with 8 cores and 16 threads. Not only that, but it gets a base clock of 3.2 GHz, which is a whopping 300 MHz higher than their 4000 series equivalent. When it comes to performance, it got a really low score, but that's because of a locked frequency which resulted in the benchmark running around just 500 MHz. In the end, like with their Ryzen 5000 desktop processors, I'd expect a very nice boost in single core performance with more of a moderate boost in multi-threaded workloads. Next up, it looks like AMD's Smart Access Memory, or SAM for short, is already getting support from non-AMD products. In a recent story by Tom's Hardware, ASUS has apparently added resizable bar support, which is essentially what AMD's Smart Access Memory is, on a number of their Z490 motherboards, and that obviously means support is here for Intel CPUs. For those who didn't know, Nvidia made a statement on it shortly after AMD announced the feature with their RX 6000 cards. In the statement, Nvidia claimed to be capable of offering the same thing, as well as the ability to support Intel CPUs. Let's just say I had no idea it would be this fast. Of course, with that said, AMD's RX 6000 GPUs are the only ones that support the feature, so at least for now, you'll need one of their newest GPUs. But I have no doubt Nvidia is working hard to bring it to their newest lineup soon. I'm mostly just curious if there will be any difference between an all AMD build with smart access memory and a mixture of parts. AMD made it clear that it does require support from multiple places, but that they were willing to help Nvidia or Intel. If you are interested in the new firmware, check Asus's website to see if your board is supported, though be careful as it is still in beta. Lastly for today, for those who followed the channel, you know that AMD's RX 6900 XT was long rumored to be an AMD only card even before it was announced. Then came said announcement and sure enough, they were right. Well, not long after, it became pretty clear that there was some big excitement for the card. I mean, it doesn't look much better than the 6800 XT, but at $500 less than Nvidia's 3090 and able to win in quite a few games, the 6900 XT looks a lot better. With that, a story soon cropped up that AIB partners were very much interested in the card. Well, it now looks like AMD is in fact going to allow board partners to create custom 6900 XT GPUs. At least if this story from Overclockers.ru is correct. As you can see, they claim that AMD is allowing third-party manufacturers to design and ship their own RX 6900 XT variants. 
Of course, pricing and availability are the first things that come to mind, but as always, time will tell. So while that does it for today, what new hardware are you most excited about coming up in the near future? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.